go look at your collection. If you need to downsize, it's completely okay. You don't owe anyone any explanation. And if you don't need to downsize and you're ready to go to the plant store right now, go and tell me which plant that you purchased. Having a lot of plants, it can be difficult. Um, honestly, I don't even know how many I have. And I keep saying I'm going to count them, but then I just don't. I don't know, I think if I knew the exact number, I would feel overwhelmed. But my collection now, I know I have a lot, but it's manageable, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know, something about knowing the number. I will eventually count them, but today's not the day. <laughs> but um, there's a lot that goes into keeping up with so many plants however i have found my happy medium and basically if i don't feel like doing it if i'm too tired whatever the case is i just don't do it i just feel like some of the things that i've read or that people say is like you have to you have to do this and that every single day with your plants or you know make sure you like no <laughs> I just find it's easier when you're especially just you know when you're feeling good and have the mental capacity to just take care of all your plants then it's more enjoyable because you don't want something this beautiful hobby to become a job to become a burden you want it to be something that you continuously enjoy and it's like ooh, I'm about to um, I don't know I'm about to repot a plant or ooh, I'm gonna clean the leaves because that's me <laughs> but if I don't feel like it, especially after work, I have a long day at work and dealing with crazy employees, um, I'm not going to do anything. If I see something and it does need the um, water, like she's super drooping or I know that, um, I don't know, something's going on with the roots, if the um, growth is stunted, my quote unquote method or thing that I do, I just place the plant in the middle of the floor, in the middle of my plant room. Or if it's a plant in my bedroom, I just place it in the media room in the hospital area and then I just get to it when I get to it. I just don't freak out or stress like I used to. And I just hope that this will um, help you with um, your collection. You don't even need to have a big collection to um, like sort of use this as a guideline. It's just something that if you do now, this beautiful hobby will continue to be something that you thoroughly enjoy, that you thoroughly love. and it won't become a burden on you. And I hope that really makes sense. If you do find yourself feeling overwhelmed or frustrated with your plants, um, I would just say, take a step back and just remember the why you started collecting it. Um, I know for some people it could be because, um, I know a lot of people got into it during the pandemic. I technically did too during the pandemic, but it was nothing to do with the pandemic. Um, it was just like a random scenario. My friend was like, let's go to this plant shop. She bought me a plant. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love it. But whatever your reason is, or even if you just got it, um, someone gifted it, gifted it to you or something, or it was something you didn't want initially, just think about if you do have multiple plants, then there's something in you that's like, okay, I love taking care of these living organisms. Just think about your why. Why do you like doing it? Why is it something that um, can bring you happiness? Just think about that and then just dial it back. It's like, okay, this thing, quote unquote thing, this hobby, it does make me happy. I feel joyful when I do it. What can I do for myself to allow me to start enjoying it again? Because burnout is real. There has been times, it's been almost two years since it happened, but I was just like burnt out and I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> but then again, you know, life factors and everything like that can affect it. But that's just what's worked for me. So 
So I just suggest just take a step back and think about the reason why you started collecting in the first place. Think about how and why plants made you feel the way it did. For me, I intentionally started collecting more because I was like, this is fun, this is exciting, this is cool. <laughs> but not only that, I was like, wow, like I, I really love doing this and just, I say it a lot of my videos, just seeing the green foliage, just there's something about it, it's so peaceful, it's my zen, it really, it's just, it's like my peace and calm, I love it, I love God's creation, that was like my initial thing, and so when I did feel burned out, I just really had to think about that, and I also did um, downsize some then at that time, but yeah, I just would encourage you to do that, just take a step back, because you want to continue your journey with your plants to be something peaceful, loving, caring, and joyful. Um, that's what it is for me though. So one of the things that I do do daily with my plants, well, especially like in my plant room every time, every morning, I, <laughs> I am the crazy plant lady. I walk in and I say, hi babies. And I just do literally just a quick glance and just see if anyone, I always call it, does anyone need 911 care? I literally do this. Like if a plant is um, super droopy or I can just look at it and just tell the soil's dry, even though she, homegirl standing up straight, I'm like, yeah, no. And like I just mentioned, I'll put it on the floor or I'll put it in the media room and I'll just get deal with it later. I don't like, you don't always have to deal with it now, not unless, of course, she set aside the appropriate time or whatever and it's like, okay, I'm about to do this for my plant chores. So I do that and I open the curtains and I don't know, just looking at them, it's just like, oh, I love you so much. <sighs> and so there has been times and you can probably see on some of my previous plant chore videos to where the plant room floor you might have seen like a lot of plants that's just reality those are plants where I'm like I'm gonna get to you when I get to you and I'm not going to even lie I don't have all my stuff together it's like that sometimes sometimes I've accumulated so many plants on the floor and it's like oh, yeah I'll just get to you when I get to you like I mentioned earlier do it when you feel like it do it when you're feeling good like and obviously if it does get to the point to where it's just like okay it is overwhelming for me even though I love them I need to do something about it by all means of course I would encourage you to downsize and just keep the plants that you want or even if you want to just get rid of them all and um, like start over I would really encourage you to do that because that can help as well and then not only that you can more so regulate the plants that you get and regulate how many that you have and it can be more enjoyable and more fun and you hear me say that a lot in this video because that's what it is to me and I just want that I want it to be like that for you especially if you're experiencing like any type of burnout okay so one of my favorite plant things to do I love to chop up plants my goodness I love it <laughs> I actually well I'm starting to realize um, realize lately I have a lot of just water propagation areas and it's so fun because I do give a lot away to family and friends and then whenever I see an empty vessel I'm like it's time it's time to chop um so I'm actually gonna do some of that now because I get a thrill out of it. <laughs> I get a thrill out of it
along with cutting um, my plants, my other favorite thing is cleaning the leaves, especially more so on my big leaf ones, the smaller leaf or like my Adansonii. I just spray her because it's hard to, it's just more, um, cause the leaves are more intricate with the fenestrations. Anyways, I, I do love cleaning um, plants leaves as well. That would definitely be my second thing. So yeah, cutting my plants up and cleaning the leaves, those things, oh, I love it. And then also recently the past, I don't know, three, four months since I have been using Pond and Lekka a lot, um, repotting or even potting those, that's been really fun. Um, especially like, because I don't know, soil, soil is and can be more messy, but with the Lekka and Pond, it's just these rocks and clay balls. I don't know. It's fun. I like it. And so those would be my, um, yeah, my favorite things to do. My least favorite plant chore, it would be, um, uh, it would be more specific. It would be repotting big plants. The last big plant I repotted was both Alexander and Mulligan. My goodness, I repotted them in 2021. I'm pretty sure it's 2021. It, yeah, so th yeah, that's my least. Honestly, Vivo, he is still in his nursery pot that I got him. I got him from Home Depot 2021 as well or 2022. He's still in the same pot. Um, the cover pot that he's actually in, I keep saying I'm going to repot him in there. But that would be my least favorite one. I still enjoy it, but not as much. So I just got this Monstera. His name is Lin Manuel. I think I'm going to cut him. I, just, I said I wasn't going to cut him. Y'all, I love monsters. I just, I just cut this not too long ago from Alexander, and look at her. Can you tell? Can you see? Yeah, look at her root. I don't know what it is, <laughs> um, because I already have enough monsters, but it's like I want to cut some more. But they're also good plants to give away to people too. So I don't know. I might. Might, not sure, but I might. Natural desire, cause you need me 
Okay, so my final words of encouragement. Remember your why. Remember that this is a hobby to bring you happiness, joy, fulfillment, and just to be fun. So go look at your collection. If you need to downsize, it's completely okay. You don't owe anyone any explanation. And if you don't need a downsize and you're ready to go to the plant store right now, Go and tell me which plant that you purchase. So I'm recording. I just pressed the button, I forgot. <laughs> um, 